Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Mia. Yeah. How are you tonight? I'm great, excellent. How about you? I'm good, thank you. So you was born in Jakarta? I'm not born in Jakarta, but I born at Bogor in Indonesia still too. Uh, yeah, so basically guys, uh, Bogor is uh, on the red line. Um, it's a bit out of the city. Maybe like one hour away on the train? Uh, two hours. Oh, two? Wow. Two hours away on the train. And um, you work or you study right now? I work in here. Ah, what do you do for work? I'm lecturer. A lecturer? Lecturer. In uh, Indonesian, like a lecturer for... For uh, nursing. Nursing? Yes. Wow. A le lecturer for nursing? Yes. Wow. And do you like that uh, career? You like it, that job? I like it so much. Uh, what do you like about it? What was the things that you like about this uh, career? I, I love my career because I can share my uh, my support. My support, yeah. Share your support with other people. You feel like it's a uh, like a, a rewarding job. Yeah. Yeah, a rewarding job. And um, you. Um, where did you learn English in this uh, in school, or did you learn it? Uh, I learned from... English. Yeah. I learned English autodidact. On what? Autodidact. Okay. Autodidact. It means uh, I learn by myself. Oh. Okay. And um, do you find it hard to learn English, or do you find it easy? Um. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe because many people here speak Indonesia yeah. and you can't practice. I, I can't practice because in Indonesia, if I ever talk with English or talk English, they call me arrogant. Really? Really. Because, wow. hey, you uh, like You're changing, this. yeah. Wow. <laughs> so basically, uh, what Mia is saying is... is, is it's like, yeah, it's a culture thing, right? So basically, she wants to practice English, she wants to speak English, right? Yeah. But with your people, it's kind of like, they will think you're arrogant if you speak to them in English. Yeah. So you stick to Indonesia. Yeah. But um, maybe you can learn more English with uh, Westlife songs. Yes, of course. <laughs> I always so, this every day at the car <laughs> <laughs> So Mia is basically a Westlife fan. Big fan or small fan? A small fan. Small fan. <laughs> Thank God for that. She's a small fan uh, of Westlife. Any other British uh, song, um, singers you like? Or I like songs? Uh, Season in the Sun. Yeah. And uh, My Love. And uh, Papa Baby. Yeah. Swear it again. Ah, and this is new star, new artist, right? Because I'm not familiar with the names. So for me, I I like older songs, older singers. I like 80s music, 90s music. Uh, today's music, I have no idea of anything. <laughs> but for you, um, do you? find music is really cool right it's really cool for so many reasons stress and things i enjoy listening to music every day like it's something that's uh, i don't know like it just makes you feel good right yeah yeah if you listen to the right type of music and um so you um which country would you like to um visit if you had a chance to go your dream country. My and let me guess, let me guess. I think you might say Japan. Norway. Norway. Wow, <laughs> interesting. Um, is it because of the northern lights, the green the yeah. sky? Yeah, northern lights. That comes uh, across a couple of countries, uh, I believe. I think that goes, yeah, a couple of them countries. You can see those uh, lights, I think. I'm not sure. But... Um, you know it's cold there, right? Cold. Cold weather. It's colder, like it's colder yeah. than uh, here. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about Indonesia's weather? 
Indonesian weather is sometimes hot, sometimes cold, but uh, we just have to season. Yeah, rainy true. and summer. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it has rainy and summer, but rainy is still hot. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. But you have to try go to visit at Bogor. Every day rainy. <laughs> oh, like England, basically. Yeah. <laughs> So you said earlier on uh, you have no brothers and sisters. Yeah. And you have so your dad is working on a cruise ship, yeah. and your mom is here. My mom, my 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 bio, my biology mom is passed away. Oh, sorry. So sorry. Uh, sorry. I I'm with my um, foster mom, step mom, step mom, step mom, step, step mom, yeah. uh, step mother. Yeah. You experience uh, with stepmom was good in the beginning, or was it hard to? Be? No, it's it good. Was, it was fine. Everything it was fine. is fine. Because sometimes you know change, especially with a different parent, can be difficult, right? Some people can't adapt or adjust to it. Um, sometimes, you know, it's, it's different, right? It's a different influence, different person. But I'm glad that you said that you have a good relationship with your stepmom. Because it's important to um, to have that, you know, influence and that parent to to guide you, even um, yeah, even through good times and bad times. Uh, do you miss your father? When was the last time you saw him? Um, I really miss. I really miss my father. Uh, really, really miss. <laughs> yeah. When will he be back? Because cruise jobs... At 17 June. Ah. June. How long has he been away? Uh, one, one year. Wow, that's what I was just trying to say there, that basically uh, cruise ships... Uh, my father used to work on a ship many years ago, and you're away for a very long time, you know? Uh, it's like a military, army type of situation where you maybe won't see him for a long time. But now um, you will hopefully, inshallah, see him in June the 15th? Yeah. June the 15th. And then will he stay for a short time and then go back again? Yeah, of uh, course. Is it hard for uh, to find a good career in Indonesia? Is um, it like difficult? Do a lot of Indonesians go to Saudi or other places? Yeah, because yeah. in Indonesia it's very difficult. And the poverty, it's, 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 my opinion is like, this is the same with Philippines as well. These countries have very smiley, very nice people, but the situations is difficult. Uh, the work situation, the living, I mean, the living for us as tourists is cheap. I can't. I don't know about Indonesians or Filipinos how they find it. It might be more difficult for them because, you know, some um, even now in Indonesia, people are selling street food all day and night. You know, it's a hard life. So when I see this, um, it's amazing. Really, it's inspira inspirational um, that to see how people work so hard. And, uh, me, myself, I feel very grateful uh, that, you know, I'm, uh, I had a, you know, a good life, let's say. Um, and, but when I see them, it's quite, uh, it's very impressive, like, to see how Indonesians work so hard, you know, uh, just to make, make it through the day. Um, is the... So you said Norway is your country that you would like to... What's your favorite food? My favorite food Soto. What is that? Soto is a traditional food from Indonesia, from yeah. Javanese. Javanese. Yeah. Like a soap with the coconut milk. Coconut, ah. But it's still good. You have to try. You have to try. But can you taste the coconut milk or does it kind of blend away? If I can't taste the coconut milk, I'll try it. But if it's if I can taste the coconut, then I'm not going to like it. So in Philippines, they have adobo. Uh, do you know adobo? 
it's it's rice yeah, it's rice and meat like how a biryani is basically similar but it has coconut in it and I hate it because of coconut <laughs> I like coconut on its own but I don't like coconut in the rice or curry or spicy things it doesn't make sense to me but that's but you me you have to try this soto yeah very delicious yeah so uh, have you ever tried rendang no I think so. Uh, that rings a bell. Maybe last time I was here, I think so. Someone recommended something to me like that. Mm. Um, so in Indonesia, um, compared to the Philippines, uh, English is is very little here. It's not much popular. Uh, Philippines, I think, because they teach it in school as a second language and, and all of that colonizing in the past or whatever. They have a they have like English kind of influence. But in Indonesia, my experience is when I'm walking down the street, or when I'm here in Kota Tua, basically, a lot of uh, people want to practice English with me, students, like yourself even, like you said, you know? And I like to help because it's a gift. It's It doesn't cost, it's nothing, you know? It's like um, Allah has given me these uh, skills to speak and you know if someone comes to me for help and I take some time out to help them it doesn't cost anything you know so it, to me it's like I'm getting a blessing from God and I'm getting a blessing from the person I'm helping as well because you're learning you know and um, it's hard though because you're living in a very Indonesian speaking country basically everyone speaks pretty much Indonesian so it must be really difficult trying to get trying to learn English here you know yeah but in Indonesia uh, in Indonesia still to uh, learning in English for the second language oh they do oh. yeah they do oh, okay I never knew that but in Indonesia all the people is passive not native oh. Yeah. They can understand, we can uh, we talk, but yeah. they can't to speak in English. Is that confidence? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> inshallah, when you practice, you can speak to me now, I'll help you. Maybe, you know, um, with speaking, with learning a language, uh, the key to learning a language is uh, practicing with someone, interaction. Um, when I went to Mexico, I didn't know Spanish, um, and it was hard. Everyone was talking to me in Spanish. So I went back to England, and I got an app on my phone called Duolingo, and I was learning on the app every day for one year. Um, but then I found out that speaking to Spanish speakers is the best way to learn, So, because it's more practical. So that's my best advice I can give you is if you're learning a language, just speak to English. Maybe watch English movies, maybe watch subtitles or read uh, and stuff like that. Then sooner or later you will uh, tighten up your English skills. And it would, it's a global, it's, it's quite important to have English because if you travel or want to go to another country, most countries in the world speak English, right? So. I would, um, yeah, um, I'm glad that you're trying to make more effort into um, to learning English because it will help you in the in the future, you know. Um, yeah, it will help. Is there anything you don't like about Indonesia? I don't know. Hmm. Other than maybe the humidity is really hot here, right? Yeah. Even when it's grey and it looks really dark, it's still hot. And the mosquitoes, Ooh. the mosquitoes. For me, um, one thing I like about Indonesia is the people. So when I came here in November, two years ago, I think, one, one or two years ago, I can't remember. 
I knew the people were friendly, but when I saw it with my own eyes, I, I, I can just, it was amazing. Like, so much people are so, so sweet here, you know. Um, Indonesians have a big heart, it seems like. Um, and as far as negative, I don't think I can think of a negative here, really. Even when I came out the airport, um, normally when I go to uh, different countries, many people are like harassing me oh taxi 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 yeah. when you come out the airport yeah, right yeah, yeah. here it was peaceful it was quiet in the philippines it was the opposite they were trying to like um whenever you travel like to another country like you're always going to get scammed or taken advantage of but in indonesia um there's a little certain level of respect i think with the people um they don't like to bother you too much and that's what I like about it. It, it helps. Um, yeah, it's nice to know that, you know. Because some other countries in Asia that I've been through, um, you know, you're walking and even Vietnam. Vietnam is quite, um, not aggressive, but they're very like, they really want you, you know, if, they, if they're selling food on the street, they really want you to come and you know try their food but the way they ask sometimes is a bit a bit aggressive and that's not a nice feeling to have um, when you're walking on the street but in Indonesia it seems like everyone just minds their, not minds their own business but everyone's quite respectful yeah there's quite a lot of respect here have you traveled around Indonesia other cities no yeah, I don't know, like, um, it's interesting, it's got quite a lot of islands, right? Hey, you guys have different tribes of Muslims? Yes, there tribes, is. different tribes, 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 tribes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. tribes, you call them tribes, right? Of like, Muslims, different tribes, tribes? Mm. No? Because, uh, okay, okay, interesting. Have you ever visited the Ispikwal Mosque? No, that mosque, um... Inshallah, maybe for Friday prayer, I'm thinking uh, it would make sense uh, to go there, which is in two days. So, yeah, I think I have. Is it next to a university? Yeah. Yes, I remember now. I w there's a big park there. Yeah. <laughs> I did, I did, I did. But I don't know if I can't remember, did I go in the mosque or did I just walk from the outside? I might have not gone inside. But um, one thing um, about mosques is all of them are, have the same message, you know, and the same kind of uh, idea, let's say, uh, for Muslims. But when you travel to Vietnam and you see the mosques there, and you see, it's quite fascinating. Right? Even as a Muslim, you will see there's so much, uh, it just looks quite amazing, you know, when you see different types of uh, Look, different type of Muslims, like Vietnamese ones and Filipino ones and stuff like that. Um, and you see how Islam has uh, influenced the world in many parts of the world. You will find uh, so much uh, influence from Muslims, you know, or Islam. It's very interesting as a traveler um, for me to, to experience that, you know. Thank you for your time today, and uh, this was a great conversation, you know. And uh, I think you, um, you was probably shy and nervous in the beginning, maybe because of uh, confidence with your English. But you carry this conversation very good. Thank you so much. I give you a ten out of ten. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I give you a ten out of ten, and yeah, and um, thank you for your time again. Assalamualaikum. I'm so very shy.